Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a PDF document based off of a Doodly video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Doodly is a great tool for creating standalone whiteboard videos. You can also use it to sketch out your ideas and then share them with your clients or your collaborator in either video form as you normally would or as a PDF document. So today I'm going to show you how you can get from this to this using Doodly. So let's take a look at the steps involved before I show you what to do. So first you're going to create your video in Doodly just like you always do. But since you're getting feedback before you want to, you know, fully create it, you're just going to focus on the images and not worry too much about setting the timing and the soundtrack. Then once you do that, you're going to export your scenes as images, which is a really cool feature in Doodly. And you do that just by right clicking, save as image. From there, you're going to open a Word or Google document and then create a two column table and you will put your images in one side of the table and then add your notes over here on the other side. And then finally, you're gonna save it as a PDF and share it. So let's do one together really quick, okay? So I'm gonna to go to my videos and let's just take a video that I already have. This is one that we made in a previous tutorial. And let's say I wanna share this with whoever I'm collaborating. So I want to go through each scene, right click, save as image, and Set your resolution. Let's do 720 in this example. And I'm gonna put it on my desktop and hit continue. Okay, so now we go to our second scene. Right click, save as image. And you notice it gives it this random number and then it says scene two and that's fine. So again, I want 720, continue. And we do scene three. Save as image, scene three. 720, continue. And that's my video, that's all I have. And that's fine, let's go into a Word document. And of course you could use Google Documents or any other word processor that supports saving as a PDF document. So here I am in Word and I want to insert a table right here. And let's make it a two by four table. And let's give it a name. So we're going to call this scene on the top. Make it bold. And then let's say notes in this column. And now all we need to do is just start dragging and dropping our scenes into place. So I've got my desktop over here, scene one, and I'm just going to drag that in. And then I'm going to do the same for scene two drag that in right below and then the same for scene three now you see the images are a little too large so all I'm going to do is just resize them I want to have plenty of room for the notes so I think this size will be good oopsie I managed to flip him upside down And that should be sufficient room for the notes. So here I'm gonna go ahead and type something in. Okay, now we can just fine tune this if we wanted to. You right click and choose borders and shading. And then shading, fill color. I'm just gonna give it a nice light blue color is applying it just to the cells that I have selected. And that looks pretty good. So now all we need to do is go up to the file menu and choose file, save as, let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it comprehensive versus collision storyboard. And before I hit save, I'm gonna go here where it says file format and I'm going to change it from the Word document to PDF. And you see how that changes that. And then I'm going to hit export. And here it is on my desktop. And here it is as a PDF. 
Now I can easily share this document with whoever needs to see it. And there you have it. That's how you can create a PDF document based off of one of your doodly videos. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.